Hello. Hi, it's Rosie at Rosemann & Co. How is everybody doing today? I hope everything is good. I have a new um, journal to show you. It is already posted in my Etsy shop. Um, this is a Secret of the Sea a journal, um, obviously, um, to do with the um, sea and the ocean and um, the different, you know, beings that belong in the sea. And um, it is a large one, uh, this one. It is a six by nine. It has three signatures and uh, 240 pages. So it, it's quite full and, um, well, beautiful with this tassel uh, right here. I try to pick the colors of the sea and so on. And uh, a couple of beads in here. And also an anchor. And here we also have a starfish and a little bit, uh, maybe uh, like seashells, uh, little shiny things that I found. It was already on a string. It was made this way, but um, I haven't used it so far. And I thought, well, okay, here's a chance for that. And this is a Tim Holtz um, title frame, and it has fabric and uh, cardstock, different things under. And these are all different. Uh, ribbons. There's a lot of different ribbons here. Uh, there's this one underneath here. And uh, just to kind of uh, be uh, look like waves maybe and then some seashells and um, a little part of the uh, beach here and on the bottom it also comes off like this. So quite a few ribbons over here and the closure is sari silk. On the top, we also have, um, it's quite full also. I put some um, shiny bits, um, like in the ocean, you see sometimes, you know, when uh, the sun is shining on top of it. And in the back, um, you see this whole um, beautiful fabric. It's very textured and um, on the bottom as well. So, sorry. <clears throat> And over here, I have some uh, sewing tails as well as, as well as some other uh, shiny um, beads. So they're flat ones um, to look like maybe shells again, seashells. And a little bit more seaweed kind of fabric over here. So on the inside, actually I made the cover couple of years ago and it's been sitting for a while for me to uh, gather uh, some of the materials and pages that I wanted in it so it still looks very good and it's fabric on the inside is in blue so I try to uh, pick uh, different things in blue like the spine here has a different fabric and to start off with, as far as ephemera, look at this one is very cute, a little bear, and uh, maybe baby bear. Um, uh, just a blank card to write in, um, but this beautiful boat with yellow sails. And it has a little bit beads over here as well. And then some seashells, this is uh, from my photo. So there'll be some of my photo seashells because I love seashells also. And uh, I collect them all the time whenever I go to the beach somewhere. This is from uh, my uh, digital collage, A Day at Sea. And I added this um, button here and some beautiful uh, details. And also this is from Asari's Curve fabric that I uh, sewn on and then a bobble. Um, that I added, made those two a long time ago. And over here is a nice uh, little writing spot that I made and then also added some details, uh, texture over here to the edges. And then over here, I, um, let me see, I paper clip this. It is a couple of uh, different things that you might use uh, throughout the journal. And as well, um, this envelope. I made like lots of these envelopes. I got addicted to it. Um, this is just a card with a seashell and then some rocks as well. This is my photography. And uh, anything, I guess anything in blue. 
and this ticket in blue as well. So, you know, the colors of the sea, blue and um, brown and uh, different things like sunshine, colors, yellow, and so on. Some blue paper with a fabric tab over here as well. Sewn on a cluster here a little bit on the back and this um, beautiful design paper. And in this um, pocket, um, also a little bit of blue ribbon here. And I've held on to this one as well. It's got a seashell over here. That looks like a seashell to me anyways, and the sun as well. And um, this is from a, a scrapbook. Um, you know, sometimes you get these uh, papers, never use them, but why not? So, a little bit more of things under the sea, notes, this different, uh, um, sort of different color, but it's like a sandy color. I would call it a sandy color. <laughs> and um, here, writing spot as well, and this is from a vintage book. These beautiful seashells. And then a little charm over here. On this, um, it's a tiny uh, belly band uh, with this embroidered fabric. And you can use um, this. Um... Now, uh, I left these because they're in blue. So you can, if they really bother, you can take them out. Now, this is also a little belly band. You can stick something else in there. Now, this is uh, from a very old magazine. Beautiful vintage just a little looks like a you know little set down by the sea and um, some trees and beautiful colors beautiful sky a little bit actual paper for writing here as well and I stamped here this is uh, my art and then I stamped a lighthouse on top of that and here I have an actual uh, vintage photo and this one is something by the sea and um, maybe it goes on uh, through a bridge or something here. Anyways, something to look at. I like uh, vintage photos. They're, they're just so unique, I think, um, from today's photography, of course. Um, everything's digital. And then here's a uh, part of a compass, and that's from a book page. And inside this blue envelope that I've reinforced with blue fabric. Uh, let me see here. Here we have a map. It actually opens up and um, it is uh, authentic. And I did put some of the uh, staining here on it with, uh, you know, uh, ink, Tim Holtz ink. And then here's something about a lighthouse of, from a uh, Dictionary, so I just thought it might go together and maybe you're looking uh, To travel somewhere to find a particular lighthouse that maybe holds a treasure and um, Here's something to write on as well And I like to punch my corners, you know all the time. I punch something. I like that look And on the back here as well here I found um, a stamp uh, by the sea also uh, unused uh, still maybe Denmark I guess I'm not sure and then I just um, put it on here on this blue envelope <laughs> more of my art and then this one here is the belly band is just the sheer fabric with a little bit of gem over here and um, here first of all we have a menu page Guests, I don't know, it just reminds me that maybe this is something that might be used on a boat, on a cruise, and then salmon um, recipe. And little guy over here in the sea. And a bit of ribbon on top. And uh, look at this here, just beautiful. Of course, this video is going to be a long one, and this is a, a vintage uh, printout. And here I stamped a little bit of a 
Let me see if I can. There we go. Of a seahorse. And in here, it's one of those narrow tags with um, blue flower. And this is from a vintage book that I found. And on the back, I have this envelope. And I put in uh, either blue stamps, not necessarily about the sea, but nature in general, maybe, or just uh, the colors that um, might uh, go with this. So that's something that um, you might use somewhere else. You might, you know, put a stamp over here if you wish, or here. Now, this is a, a pocket, and it has. A beautiful playing card also secrets of the sea lots of um, different areas oh here's a mermaid and uh, let me see anything else in here and a seahorse so some different things either to write on or to use as a journaling card somewhere else paper for journaling <laughs> And um, Cypress Sea, it looks like. The beautiful blue, I love this blue from the map. Something very historic, apparently. And this is the middle of the first signature. This is uh, from my digital kit. I did sew around here a little bit and added this Easter Island, this beautiful blue as well. And inside I have uh, like a large journaling card, but it is fabric on this side beach treasures and uh, it does have um, some seashells and so on um, that is on this fabric so I like that and I can put that in here a little bit of a bow here and a menu also menu suggestions on a cruise and here is um, this is maybe a more modern you know not so vintage uh, postcard but it is I don't know. Let me see. 1969. So not current, but anyhow, by the sea, somebody took a trip and wrote a postcard to somebody. Which I do. I do that a lot, too. When I go to the sea, I like to send postcards. And um, Mediterranean. I'm going there in August, middle of August. And more paper. And this airmail pocket uh, has a tag in it with um, beautiful blues and eyelash trim. This one is uh, like a, I think it's a CD envelope, but it's in blue. And um, I have a couple of them. And. Um, one of them is in here so you can put whatever else you want in it but i i put in a little children's book uh, page which has to do with something on the beach and um well, today is not a day for the beach it's very kind of i don't know muggy cloudy so we're not at the beach. I haven't been to the beach yet, but anyways, well, I'm, I have been walking, but I don't get in the water too often. <laughs> don't like to get wet. And a um, little bit of a notebook here with a stamped lighthouse and details on the top. And here's a fabric flip also on the beach. Yeah, I like to just kind of sit here in this chair and... Um, gaze about and take some pictures and so on. Uh, this is uh, my photo and over here is uh, that's I included this um, it's a vintage card I don't know whether somebody actually made it looks like in 2002 so it's a little bit more current um, but it looks like like a stamped uh, card I'm not sure but it looks beautiful and some of my art here and a stamp with waves and um, a bit from a ship from a book and then over here voyages and travels i did print this one and something but you know admit one when you go on the boat and just some a card to write on this blue 
envelope and then a little bit more of the seahorse and flowers. This is the other side of the uh, very vintage uh, of the very vintage and um, quite fragile. So you have to be careful with this one. Just you know, flip it gently um, from a magazine. And then a, a sewn strip here in this little belly band, and in the back too, you can put uh, something in seashells and journaling card and this is um, just something looks like from the Greek islands in uh, from the sea anyway some kind of treasure from the sea a little bit more over here this one says um, seabed seaboard words to do with uh, sea over here and then blue paper and uh, tab look at this whale i had him for a while too and i put him in this box where i was collecting all of these um sea ones so this is from a vintage book that i made into a journaling card but i, I love the a common thin whale and a little bit more details here and this beautiful sari fabric this is the one that has this uh, little tail on the bottom a little bit more seashells and then this is the second signature this is the inside if you can see it looks beautiful oh this is from the middle uh, let me see yeah this here I didn't show you this is very cute I don't know what you would call this medallions some sort of medallions maybe not really beads so this is a little bit more uh, from my a day at sea digital and then some more ruffles and this is a seashell charm and over here's a large journaling card or you can glue something on it there's fabric um, quite a bit of fabric samples and tabs and all over and um, and some eyelash trim too i try to put all over as well and uh, here's a blue card to write on and more of my rocks uh, rocks fascinate me too i take a ton of pictures of rocks and seashells or water waves and so on vacation time yeah it's coming up vacation time this is also very fragile i did put some of the vintage tape that i have i had to tape it up because it was quite falling apart but i try to um keep it safe to be in here and then a little bit more on the water and the boats and a narrow tag this this is um you know, like uh, vellum tracing paper, maybe, that I printed some of my painting on. And this is also a vintage photograph that you can look at and see what the heck is going on here. It looks like um, some young people may be jumping in the boat or from the boat. And here's another stamp. It's also unused. Uh, this one's... Looks like a vacation sun with glasses. Sail. This is from a book. And then inside I have this um, beautiful goldfish. It's like a little folder. And um, it has uh, some of my photos in here. Of course, I take lots of photos as well on vacation. that I'm always running out of room on my computer and um, oh here's seaweed seaweed for this one seaweed too fascinates me and uh, this um, beautiful fabric here with ribbon and there's also sorry scarf on the top fish pattern some sort of sweater pattern I think this was a flip fabric flip 
and a bit of a notebook here a little bit of shiny bits on top plain paper to write on and in this uh, let me see if I can get it out okay here we have uh, I think also a little uh, folder secrets of the sea which is the title of the journal so I thought I would just you know remind you on this um, beautiful page and inside here you also have a little bit more of the ocean creatures or sea creatures like coral and so on and i just like to keep things paper clipped in this golden paper clip i still have a few not too many because can't find them here and um this is uh, paper. I like this paper. Just the color of it, that sandy kind of color. It was an envelope. And here's the middle. My um, digital kit middle. And uh, here's an envelope as well that I made. And inside here is a, is a journaling card and uh, a printed card and also a cruise ship playing card. I haven't used them too much because they don't look very vintage, but might as well. Some beads over here. And these are uh, original from a book. This is from a boat and this too. And then this bow in the middle. Another one of these shiny medallions. And a little bit of beads here, here as well. And inside this one, I have another page from that uh, kids book. I just love the color. And they're also sitting under the tree by the sea. And a little bit of detail here. Here is a yellow card to use. And then here a paper clipped with this kind of seaweed ribbon, uh, a vintage, an actual vintage card. It is uh, Dear Sandy, and there's a, a whole little message here on this beautiful yellow and then a red rose, and goes in this blue envelope. So I like that one to be in this journal. Okay, so here's the seaweed fish stamping and this is a little pocket that you can put something into and on the other side of the pattern uh, once more of the let me see if I can show it a little bit more there lots of texture and fabric on the top and then this one has a journal card that opens up fabric over here uh, there we go a little bit more uh, from maps I have a lot of maps so I thought well I better start using them I do have a lot of uh, books atlases that I collected and um, this one actually says um, Hotel Dubrovnik but it's in Zagreb Croatia and um, which is not at the sea it's the capital this one I left empty so that um, you can put something in as well. So, um, but Dubrovnik is one of the major uh, sea locations uh, that people go to see. So a lot of tourism there in Dubrovnik. But I haven't been there yet myself. <laughs> uh, maybe one day. A bit more of my painting. And a little belly band here and here as well. If you have something very narrow to put in there from a seashell this is from a seashell book and then here a little bit more journal cards one collage then one printed and um, because there's so much things in it I couldn't fill everything so I did give you another one of these and you can put more into it yourself and a blue page 
And over here is a large uh, picture page or a book page of, you know, people on boats and this beautiful um, land sky and beautiful ocean, just in different colors, not quite the blue, like everything. So I do like to take a pause and do put something different in a writing spot. And then we're off here to signature three. So lots of details, buttons, and um, from my digital kit. And over here, lots of details. And then again, the, the little eyelash trim, if you want to call it, I guess, on the bottom here. And then this beautiful, this is from a vintage book that I made into a, a, a journaling card. And over here, also a, a vintage uh, photography photo, something on the water. So I think it kind of, what did I do with it? How did I paper clip it like this? I'm not sure. Okay. Uh, look at the sparkly here, ribbons, more clusters over here of sewn strips, a little bit detail there as well. Design paper and look at, I sewn the uh, leaves on this one and I put almost like uh, seaweed over here and these are fabric samples in the different hues of blue and so on, pink, some pinks, and and um, another page. And then I also put uh, some sequins in some of these, like a shaker pocket. And then here's a pocket too um, that you can put something in. So I, I printed this and then I just painted it myself. And a little bit more from the very vintage book. Uh, lighthouse Rove. I just love this lighthouse, so I thought I would put it in. Oh, here, this is still in vacation time. Uh, that's still from that song. Uh, oh, it looks like I left this open on the top, so you can put in a secret message. And then here is... Oh, this is an envelope. Uh from Canada Post. But anyways, I had some leftovers and I put in uh, some more of my uh, photography so you can look. So those were all taken by the sea. Some secret things by the sea. Okay, and I put a little bit of this trim here. So a lot of work on this journal. It's very full and um, Hopefully, whoever gets this will enjoy looking through it. And here's a little notebook. And this is something uh, of a map, just in a different way. And then it's got the sea over here, boats, and so I like that. Okay. A little bit more here that you can put something in as well. And then... Um, it's, this is sparkly. That's that metallic paint that I used to uh, have. And then um, fabric pocket in this beautiful blue. And then a vintage card. I just love the way it's embossed. And I put a little, little flower on it. And um, I just love the color too. Very um, beautiful. This sort of aqua color. And uh, another flip over here, and a little bit of a heart gem on top. A couple of extra pages there, notebook. And this is uh, from a book. It's a large page of a boat. And then something in the back as well. And um, here is another envelope inside the envelope. And um, a couple of uh, cards journal cards. This is actually my seashells. I think I already had some in there. And 
I don't know if I mentioned that in my seashells as well. My photography, I mean. And then um, this from my kit. This side here. Um, I look at these froggies. And then a playing card. And something about magical water world. Which it certainly is. I like to uh, put on sometimes, you know, uh, those relaxing songs. And, um, or just listening to the gurgling um, or splashes of water. Uh, these are original from a book that I put in here. And this is a large, you know, you can do with it what you want. It's not, it could be a journaling card, I guess, but it is fabric that is uh, glued on top so that you can peel off and use somewhere. But since I had this beautiful color, I thought I would add it into this journal. There. Yeah. Some details here. One more journal tag. And a bit of a tag over here. And I'm, we're getting to the end, I promise. And then more of the uh, fabric pocket with ruffles ribbon. And uh, from a lighthouse book, it shows you some different lighthouses. And uh, you can read about it a little bit and see where they're at. And this belly band um, has something in it. Open there, navel. Here as well, the seaside, which is the actual from a book page. And then I printed this as well. It opens up. Oh, there's a little thing in here. It's a, one of those shaker ones where the seashells can go around. Uh -huh. so lots of fun stuff to go through. And uh, just a blue, blue postage stamp. Actual space to write on. Okay, yeah, I mean, now this one, I don't know, it says 1905. I don't know if that's when the, just when the song was made or possibly the magazine is that old. Another pocket here. You can put something. Look at these beautiful shells. Ah, oh, just scrumptious. And then a little bit more here. And... No, okay, let me also show you some more of that because I enjoy it. Oh, uh, yeah, here we go. And a little bit of sparkly ribbons here. And, um, yeah, yeah, this was in a box too that was to go in this journal. Um, I think this was just like from a, uh, from a gift bag, I think, these dolphins. And then these beautiful waves. Uh, from a, on a vintage postcard in a blue paper clip and a gem over here. And uh, this is uh, one of my mom's um, very pretty uh, crocheting where she added the colors onto this. What looks like, uh, I don't know. I don't know if it's actually a tree, uh, but to me it looks more like, I don't know, belongs in here. So I added it. And in the very back, I have, of course, Rose by Name Co. And a little bit more beads here. And also a journaling card from my digital kit. And then this card, vintage card. And I included the envelopes. Um, the envelope, I think, is not quite original, but I wanted to include an envelope in case you wanted to send it somewhere, this uh, bird over the ocean or sea. Anyhow, so this is the end of Secret Secrets of the Sea. And um, it is a six by nine journal available in my Etsy shop. And a lot of work in here, a lot of fabric, a lot of sewing, and lots and lots of different original ephemera. And uh, beads and charms and so on. So, I hope you're having a good day and um, weekend, I guess, because it's a weekend. And um, 
come back again to see another video and check out another one of my journals. I appreciate it. It's Rosie at Rose Paninko. Bye-bye.